Okay, the ATM, the ad tag message method. This method is not something that I created. Not me. Um, you will see several people use it. You will see several top leaders talk about it. There are several people who came together and created this method, the system, and it has worked brilliantly. So what is it? An ad tag message system is essentially just that. You're adding someone to something, you're tagging someone to something, and you're messaging them, okay? So let me give you an example. When we have our opportunity group, and someone comes to you and asks, hey, Sarah, I, I wanna know more about the company. I wanna know about the comp plan, like tell me more. What Sarah should do is she should, I, I do this, and you'll have to kind of figure out how to do this, and if you look through the notes, you'll see um, some verbiage on how to like perfect telling them you're gonna do it versus asking them you're, to do it. But instead of saying, hey, I have this opportunity group, would you mind me adding you to it? If she's asking me about the comp plan, I'm gonna say, hey, Sarah, I just added you to a group. Let me know when you accept it, and I'll tag you in the comp plan. And then they usually go, oh, I already accepted. Or I may not even say, I'll tag you in the comp plan. I'll just say, tell me when you accept. And they'll say, okay, cool, I just did. And they didn't even realize you just stuck them in this group, right? And then you get in there and you tag them on the welcome post, obviously, like, hey, Sarah, so glad you're here. And then you go tag them in the comp plan. You say, hey, hey, Sarah, here's the comp plan. Let me know if you can, if you need anything else. And I immediately go back to Messenger and I message Sarah and I say, hey, Sarah, I added you to the group and I tagged you in the comp plan. Let me know if there's anything else that you that you need or any other questions. Then you leave her be for a little bit, okay? Let her look, let her do her thing. When you go back to her, if you have not heard that she doesn't come to you and she doesn't ask a question next, when you go back to her is when you're gonna be able to be like, hey, do you have any other questions? And then that's when you get into the closing, okay? So I'm not gonna discuss that right now. <laughs> oh, Siri's talking to me. So that's whenever you go into the closing part of it. But when you do message her back and you let her know, like there's the comp plan and she comes back and she says, hey, I saw the comp plan. I was wondering, what about hostess rewards? What you'll do is you won't even respond to her right away. You go to the group, you go to the group, find the hostess rewards. You're gonna go click on the beauty influencer rewards, tag her name, and then go back to Messenger and you'd say, hey, Sarah, I just tagged you in that information as well. This is getting her to go to the resources. Um, I talked to someone this morning, Candace, I talked to Candace this morning, and, and she said, yeah, you said this a long time ago that if they're not gonna put the work in before they join, they're not gonna put the work in after they join. So true, I forgot I said that, thanks Candace. So it is true, if they're not going to go look at the resource, they're not gonna do it. So don't send them the comp plan, don't send them the stuff, add them to the group, tag them in the information. Now, um, side note, if they will not, they don't like, going into the group, they don't want a group, they want nothing to do with it, you can send them to sparkleandroots.com as a last resort, okay? Back to add tag message. So, you've added them to the group, you've tagged them, you're answering their questions in Messenger. Now there's two things I wanna mention here. One, you can add them to the next group too. So what I do is I say, so I tagged you in that comp plan, I also added you to another group so that you can see our amazing products. Guess what group I added them to? Yep, I added them to our customer group. So I've got them in the opportunity group and now I've added them to the customer group. They get to see everything. They, they see everything. And maybe they're like, oh, that's awesome. I, I couldn't wait to see the nails. Now I know they're interested in nails. So when I get into the customer group, I'm gonna go and tag them in nails. You see how easy this is? And I didn't ask. I told them I was doing it. So after you've got them in, you've tagged them, you're, you're giving them information, what next? Here's where the messaging, I think some people cross lines here. When they think add, tag, and message method or system, they're thinking, okay, so I added them to the group, I tagged them, and I messaged them. I did it. This is where you have to keep going. Another thing that you do with messaging is you can actually three-way, how many of you did three-way calls way back in the day? Okay, you, if you've ever been in, in another company that did three-way calls, the reason they do that is for third-party validation. It's huge. Nobody wants to get on the phone these days. I mean, do we use our phones for that anymore? So, the next best thing is a three-way chat. This is when you can introduce your person, your prospect, to your upline. Now, you wanna go to your direct. So, for instance, let's say, um, I'm trying to think of somebody. So 
Tasha, her upline is Lindsay. So Tasha could put somebody, Sarah, in the group chat with Lindsay and say, hey, like, let's say, let, let me back up just a second and just say, let's say Sarah asks a question that you're uncomfortable answering, you don't know the answer, or maybe you're brand new and you don't have a clue what the heck you're doing. This system is, method is huge. You add them to the group, you tag them in the thing, and then the first time they say, well, is this like those other things? Like, I don't know if I can keep it, and they start asking questions, and you're like, oh, Whoa, 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 I don't know, I don't know, I'm clueless, I'm, I just started yesterday. This is where that upline comes into play, okay? So Tasha could add Sarah to a group message with Lindsay and be like, hey, Sarah, I, I included my leader, Lindsay, in this chat because I'm totally new and I'm not 100% sure, so I wanted to pull her in and, and introduce you to her. That's when Lindsay will go in and be like, hey, it's so nice to meet you, um, so glad you know that you're here, how can I help you? And now Lindsay's kind of giving in that third party validation. Here's where it also helps. Let's say somebody, here's a great scenario. Someone has been with, I don't want to say company names. Okay. Someone has been with Grape Pity Grape in the past and someone was with Plummity Plum. Okay. So they had Grape Pity Grape and then they also were with Plummity Plum. Now you can, let's say you used to be with Grape Pity Grape. So you can be like, oh, Sarah, I was with Grape Pity Grape and this is nothing like that. Let me tell you. And you can talk the differences. But what about Plummity Plum? that they're comparing it to. When you put them in that, that chat with a leader that was with Plummity Plum, and this could not necessarily be your upline, it could be a friend too that's with you now that used to be with that company. You can add them to that message and say, hey, you know what, Jennifer was with Plummity Plum, maybe she can help explain the differences since I wasn't with them. Do you see how this could work? So definitely using a group chat is so beneficial, especially when you're first starting out. Maybe you don't know how to close. Maybe you've never done this before. Utilize your upline. You wanna use your direct upline. Don't be jumping up 10, 10 people, okay? Use your direct upline and make sure they're okay with this first. Don't just go to them and be like, add people to a group and catch them off guard, okay? Let them know that this is what you're gonna be doing on a regular basis. Even if you know the answer, I used to do three-way calls all the time. All the, like all day long, I was doing three-way calls. I had a headset on all day. I did three-way calls for my team. I was doing three-way calls with my customers. Did I say all day? All day. And I can tell you that third-party validation is massive. So even if you know the answer, and I teach my team this all the time when we did three-way calls, even if you know the answer, pulling someone else in to answer it is massive. It is so crazy how that one person saying the same thing that you just said does magical things for you. So if you bring somebody else, your upline, your, you know, your direct sponsor in, and you're asking the same question or that, that process asking the same question that you could have answered, but you let them answer, not only are they telling you that this is a, the right decision, this is the most amazing thing since sliced bread, but now they have someone else telling them. Does that make sense? That's how the ATM system works. It's amazing. You've got to be doing it. Okay?